Senator Giorgio. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is directed to Simon Birmingham, who I understand represents finance matters for the government at the moment. <laughs> Minister, can you please clarify whether Western Australia's $4.7 billion GST is under threat or not? According to media reports today, Federal Treasurer Scott Morrison has warned that a coalition government under Peter Dutton could scuttle the deal for WA. Therefore, can you guarantee to my, my constituents that there is no threat to WA's GST deal, irrespective if there is a change in the government's leader? The Minister representing the Minister for Finance, Senator Birmingham. Thanks, Mr President. I thank Senator Giorgio for his question. Now, I earlier went through a number of the achievements of the Turnbull government. And a very significant one that I failed Senator to Pratt. mention was the achievement of the government in terms of fixing inequities in relation to GST distribution. And that was something that was addressed with real reform, not the type of band-aid measures that Mr Shorten and those opposite proposed. You know, Mr Shorten used to spend— Oh, sorry, Senator Gallagher. So, thank you, Mr President. It just occurred to me that Senator Smith had more may have more precise information in respect to answering this question Senator, <laughs> Senator Gallagher, than Senator Birmingham. Uh, Senator Gallagher, that's not a point of order, and it wasn't even a very good attempt to make it one. Senator Birmingham. GST reform is a key reform of the Turnbull government, of this coalition government, and I am confident it will be an enduring reform. In fact, I would be so bold as to predict that at some time, which I hope is a very long, long way away, that those opposite who have not given a straight answer in relation to our GST reform will actually just quietly accept it. At some time in the future, they will quietly accept it. But Mr Shorten was shown to be somebody incapable as a leader of making difficult decisions, of delivering the tough reform that our GST reform has indeed put in place. Our proposal is a real measure of reform. It will benchmark all states to the economies of New South Wales or Victoria. Will provide greater stability and predictability in the state's GST's payments. We are boosting the GST pool available for the states by providing an injection of $600 million in the pool in 2020-21 and a further $250 million in 2024-25, all of it to be indexed. I am confident that the only threat, the only threat to the GST arrangements are those opposite, because they have no policy in this space. They promised Band-Aid solutions. My WA Senate colleagues, each and every one of them, and the coalition, the Liberal Party's Western Australian Lower House members, championed long and hard for real GST reform, not Labor's Band-Aid solution, and as a coalition government, we are proud to have achieved it. Senator Giorgio, a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. Will the government then send a letter to the state government to confirm the arrangements are intact? To alleviate the fears Premier Mark McGovern has expressed today in the media. Senator Birmingham. Mr. President, I've just given a very categorical answer in regards to the fact that GST reform by this coalition government is here to stay under this coalition government, any future coalition governments, and the only threat that exists is under a future Labor government, because it is the Labor Party who squibbed it when it came to GST reform. Mr Shorten thought that a little bucket of money for some infrastructure project projects would be enough to buy off Western Australia, whereas instead Mr Turnbull, Mr Morrison, Senator Cormann and every single WA Liberal senator and House of Representatives member worked hard, worked together to ensure we came up with a fair solution, an enduring solution that will ensure Western Australia gets its fair share of the GST, whilst ensuring every other state continues to enjoy funding growth from the GST pool to be able to invest into their essential services as well. Senator Giorgio, a final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. And given that the federal government is in turmoil at the moment, why won't the Commonwealth do the fair thing and ensure WA gets its full 75 cents in the dollar now rather than wait until 2024-2025? Senator Birmingham. Mr President, we have worked carefully to ensure the GST solution that we have proposed and that we are implementing is one that is fair to all states and territories, one that is fiscally responsible. It's one that we'll see in relation to Western Australia an additional $4.7 billion flow in terms of support for WA 
through GST payments. That is significant. We are pleased that it was welcomed by the WA Labor Party, notwithstanding the fact, of course, that they had no viable solution on offer from those opposite. And the next election in Western Australia will be one where the hollow man of Mr Shorten will be on display. Will be on display because, of course, he tried to buy WA off with a band-aid solution, whereas the coalition government, led by our WA team, made sure that there was a real solution in place for Western Australians to make sure that they get a fair share of the GST in the future without any detriment to any other state or territory.